Hey guys, Brooke Wolpa here. Welcome to my channel. It's day 26 of the 28 day challenge to get outside every day and have a campfire. I'm in my favorite forest in the pines, in the hemlocks. You hear that? That's the sound of nothing. One of my favorite sounds. Nothing. Just the wind in the pines. Snow all around, quiet, peaceful, beautiful sounds of winter. Ladies and gentlemen, start your fires. I've been waiting all morning for coffee. I'm so psyched for coffee. Beautiful sight. Oh, that pine smells so good, burning. Birds in the sky are just like you. I think she's ready. Beautiful sound, beautiful sight, beautiful sound. Cheers, guys. Yes, coffee time. Let's move on to breakfast. I've got something new, something I it's, it's so great. Okay, this was an idea from a subscriber, Mike. 
can't think of your last name right off the top of my head. I just had a brain freeze. Mike, you told me to make some skillet cornbread pancakes. Or I think you called it skillet cornbread, which is you take, it's when you take some instant pancake mix and mix it with some cornmeal, a little sugar, a pinch of salt, and then you make pancakes. Well, I didn't have any cornmeal, but I did have Jiffy cornbread mix. And I have some instant pancake mix. So today I'm making like cornbread, creamed corn, creamed corn, like corn pancakes with homemade, <laughs> it's cold, with homemade maple syrup and butter and powdered sugar. And, and I love corn. I love corn so much. I love corn. So, these are gonna be epic. Corn pancakes. Corn pancakes, that's what we'll just, we'll just call it corn pancakes. Cause corn pancakes just is a lot easier than overthinking it. Corn pancakes are coming up. Oh yeah. See, I got my maple syrup back here, warming up just in the glass jar, just kind of sitting next to the fire to warm up. It's gonna be fantastic. All right guys, so this is all I'm gonna use. I've got some instant pancake mix, I've got some Jiffy corn muffin mix, and creamed corn. I'm gonna add that with a little bit of water. It's gonna, it, it makes the most amazing corn pancakes. That's what we're going with, is corn pancakes that you've ever tasted. You're not gonna believe this. You guys, here we go. We're gonna start with some Jiffy corn muffin mix. And we're looking for a mix of about two to one with the Jiffy mix and the instant pancake mix, which is right here. So you want twice as much corn muffin mix as instant pancake mix. Whoa, 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 come back here. I'm just guessing and I'm thinking that looks about right. Now I'm gonna add some creamed corn, two, three tablespoons. I don't know, just add as much as you think you're gonna want in there. I like corn, so I think this is, I don't think you can go wrong, just wing it. Add a little bit of water. Mix it up and see where we're at. Look at these bad boys. Nice. Get some butter melting in my pan. Just coating my pan a little bit. A little butter never hurt anybody. All right, here we go. Let's make a pancake. That ain't super pretty, but it's gonna taste good. Oh, the smoke just does not know where it wants to go today. Mmm, smells like the fair. Too hot. I'd say that's done. I'm gonna put it in here with the weenies. Keep it hot. And do another one. I think I'm gonna add a little more water, make them a little thinner. A little too thick. Try one of these weenies. Mm. Oh yeah, those are good. Ah, it's looking good. The thinner one, I think, is the ticket. Let's flip it over. Oh, not too bad. I think she's done. Going in here with the, the weenies. Let's do another one. so quiet out here. Just the sound of the pancake. Let's flip it. Ooh, that's the best looking one yet. Look at that. Look at who showed up. The wolf. All right, I threw my weenies back in there to warm up. But I think it's about ready to eat, guys. I just added a pad of butter and now some powdered sugar. Mm. All right, all right, there's Maisie's. You ready for breakfast? Here you go, hold on, hold on. Goodness, well, that's pretty good stuff. Yeah, 
There you go. Good breakfast. All right, let's get some maple syrup on here. It's nice and warm. All right, guys. Oh, look at this. I'll put some homemade maple syrup on there. Oh, this is really dark, thick stuff. I overprocessed this particular batch, and so it's so thick and, and rich. It's just delicious. I'll be doing that soon. You keep watching my channel. I do maple syrup over open fires every spring. All right, guys, here we go. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful meal, this beautiful forest. And I thank you for your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, you ready? First bite. Dip it in. Here you go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. They're nice and crispy on the bottom. Thank you for the great idea, Mike, about the uh, corn skillet pancakes. Love them. Mmm. Homemade maple syrup. Just dripping off there. Mmm. Fantastic. The creamed corn in these pancakes just make them so moist and delicious. Oh, oh man, is that ever good. All right, guys, here's your Mary Oliver poem for today. It's called The Marsh Hawk. The marsh hawk doesn't, as other hawks do, work his wings like soft hinges to make progress over the morning marsh, but merely, or so it seems, lays his breast upon the air, and the air, as if understanding, floats him along with his wings open and raised, just a little beyond the horizontal, in thanks, perhaps, to the great crystal carrier of leaves and clouds, of everything, and even though his shadow follows exactly, his every tilt and flow, and even though he must know that hunger will win, he doesn't hurry, but floats in wide circles as he gazes into the marshes below his hard beak and the hooks of his feet, as though wanting something more lasting than meat. At noon he's still there above the brambles, the grass, the flat water, where, in their almost stately disengagement, the inedible dampness and darkness shine. I like seeing marsh hawks, or they're also called harrier hawks, and uh, you can always spot them, they're just like whoosh, gliding real low and they're so cool just love hawks but this has turned into an especially lovely day it started out cold it was about 10 degrees when i came out here and i bet it's warmed up to almost 20 and the sun is kind of trying to peek through it is so pretty wow and quiet i love that well guys, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you like this day 26 of the 28 day challenge to get outside every day and have a fire. And maybe if you can't, go outside and at least get a walk, all right? Just go do something. Turn off your electronics, turn off the news, and get outside. It's gonna make you feel so much better. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy